welcome to another edition of Wrestling Renaissance. Today we're going to talk Dragon Gate USA. Because me and the mad scientist here, we're going to put a video together. On which one's better, Raymond and Dragon USA. Be checking for that on this video. But I want to get, you know, an introduction to that video. I, I want to talk about, you know, some of the matches I've enjoyed during the USA. You know, the matches that put them, you know, on top, better than the rest. You know, you know better than the rest of the matches they put out in the company. I, I call it the Dragon Gate 6. Which is kind of like the SmackDown 6, but instead of wrestlers, it's six matches that define Dragon Gate, not six matches that define SmackDown. So, we're going to go through this list. I, I've seen every Dragon Gate show up to Mercury Rise 2011. I haven't seen Open the Southern Gate, but up till that point, these are the six matches I enjoy the most. These are six matches that if you want to put on, you know, a, a showcase card, a card with six matches on it, that, you know, you want to show to somebody and get them to become a fan of Dragon Gate USA, these are the matches I would show them from promotion. All right, number six, we got Warriors Five of Sema, Gamma, and Dragon Kid vs. World One of BB Hulk and Ruki Doi and Masato Yoshino from Mercury Rise 2010. This match was awesome. This match was excellent. Uh, you know, six man in Dragon USA. Are, this is like their tradition. This is their thing they did in Ring of Honor before they became Dragon USA. This is the whole reason the company has, you know, been brought to the USA at all. It, it was the reason they became big over here. You know. This match, it, it was a little slow at the start, you know, it, it had some pacing issues, but the last half of it was just ridiculous. The last half of it might have been the best half of any of these matches, just, there was one spot where they did, like, two uh, reverse Hurricane Ranas, one off the top rope, and then Gamma hit one, and it was kind of effed up, but it was effed up in a good way that actually looked good, you know, um, just, just a breakneck speed match, just really fast, it, it's kind of, you know, how they do their matches, really slow at the start, the first 13 minutes or so were kind of slow, then after that just picked up to a great, you know, finish, um, you know, Yoshino went with the Sol Naciente, just good match, four and a half, you know, Dragon Gate style at its finest, then we got the Mad Scientist here, favorite match in Dragon Gate history, it's only fifth on my list, but but I've watched it a bunch of times, it's, it's still really good, it's a little bit ahead of the last match, it's Kamikaze USA, Shingo Yamato, and Akira Tozawa versus World 1, B.B. Hulk, Ruki Doi, Masato Yoshino from Way of the Ronin. This match was awesome. Um, Shingo and Yamato are my two favorite guys in Dragon USA. Tozawa is Tozawa. He's great. You know, Mad Hulk, Scientist's favorite. Mad Scientist's favorite. B.B. Hulk, Ruki Doi, Masato Yoshino. You know, that's a great high-flying team with Doi in the middle. You know, just a great match. The crowd, I think the crowd really made this match. It took it to another level. The crowd was just extremely hot. It, 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 was, it was the best, as in... Of all these matches, it was the best. As in, it didn't have any slow points. There was nothing slow to it. There was no boring spots in it. The finish may not have been the best finish they had, but it had much better pacing. There was no pacing issues. It felt like, you know, from start to finish, it was a fun match the entire way through. There was nothing wrong with it in there. You know, and, and it was probably the most strong style stiff of all these matches, too, with, you know, Shingo and Yamato and Tozawa and Doi in there. You know, it, it was a different breed of six man than we had seen before, and, and I think that paid off for it well. It, it made it something unique and different. I'm gonna give that four and a half as well. A little bit better, probably because the crowd. It didn't have the you know as great a finish as the first one did, but but I think it was better because the pacing was better. The pacing all throughout was just you know fantastic. Then we got number four, BB Hulk versus Kirisawa from United We Stand. You know, I was I was looking forward to this match when it was announced, but I didn't think it was gonna be anything special. I really think this is, you know, Tazawa's first true breakout match in Dragon USA. You know, I didn't watch a lot of his stuff in PWG. In fact, I don't think I've seen any of his stuff in PWG. You know, I was mainly just watching him in Dragon USA. And this match just blew me away. And I think it blew away a lot of the audience, too, because I don't think the audience saw this coming. I think, you know, Hulk is, is you know, good, great at best. But, I mean, he, he has some selling issues. In this match, there was no selling issues. You know, both guys sold they were tired extremely well, and they, they couldn't have been that tired. It was 20 minutes, and it was a good for minutes, but they were selling they were tired by the time of 8 minutes. You know, they were actually putting in some realism into the match. And, you know, Tazawa just, you know, hitting the three dives to the outside for the first time in Dragon USA, I think. I think it was the first time he hit it. I, I could be wrong. But there were just there were several spots in this match that just made me go, wow, that was awesome. And, you know, I mean, tons of kicks. Tons of hard shots, tons of stiffness, tons of, you know, manning up. Just just a great all-around athletic contest. It's probably Hulk's best match in Dragon Gate USA, honestly. Uh, you know, he, he's not my favorite wrestler they have, but here he actually shows himself. And 
So that would be the smart thing in realizing that Hulk's not going to sell if you work over his leg or his arm. So he just worked over his, his body. He didn't, he didn't work over a part. He didn't pick a part to sell. Or he didn't pick like a, a limb to work over. And in the end, it made the match better because Hulk didn't have to sell for him. So it actually made the match, you know, it, it felt like an epic match. Cesaro getting his first win, or, or, you know, his first major win off of Deadlift German. You know, just just a great match there. Then we got Brian Danielson versus Naruki Doi from Untouchable 2009. This match was an awesome chess game, just a technical war, just just a masterpiece that I think everyone should see. You know, this was this was Danielson's, I think, you know, one of his last matches before he went to WWE the first time. It, it really seemed like a huge prize fight. It was like, you know, America's Finest versus Japan's Finest going head-to-head. -head. And they really, really brought a big time here. And, you know, Danielson, it was one of, like I said, it was one of his last matches, you know, over the summer before returning to, you know, WWE. So he wanted to leave a good impression on the company, and he did. He delivered an absolute classic for the fans in attendance. You know, he didn't hold back at all. It, it's so close to forward three force. I'm gonna give it four and a half. Joy takes it with a muscular bomb, but everyone should check this out. From the same exact show, we have Dave Richards versus Shingo. Now this right here was awesome. I, I didn't think it was gonna be as good as Danielson Doy, but it just blew me away. This the stiffness between these two this is where I started taking notice over both these guys. I wasn't a huge Richards fan. I wasn't a huge Shingo fan coming to this match. But they truly won me over. It, you know, this show had, looked like it had, like, two prize fights on them. Like, something like you would go out of your way to see. Like, like you know, Mayweather and Pacquiao. Like, it, it felt like a big-time thing. It felt like a big-time war. And here's two guys, you know, two of the baddest motherfuckers in the whole entire business just striking each other, just taking them strike for strike, just hitting them with all the big moves they can. You know, just to show who was the top dog or alpha male in Dragon USA at the time. You know, just a great match. Just just hard-hitting, solid stuff. You know, Richards can be, you know, spotty selling at best sometimes. But he, but he really delivered a great match here. Shingo did the same. Shingo's the best guy Dragon USA has. I think he's, you know, one of the top two wrestlers in the world, him and Chris Hero. So, of course, you know, put on a match here just of this caliber. It was the first time where I really took notice of how good he was and how much he could bring out of people. And then, number one match in Dragon Gate USA history, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brian Danielson and Shingo from Into the Dragon 2010, first year celebration. This is the match, in my mind, that defines Dragon Gate USA how it is. It also defines what pro wrestling should be, and that's just, you know... Just a, a modern day classic for me. I, I give this four and three fours too. It's not five, but I haven't been invested in a match in a long while as I have in this one. I, I don't think I've marked out as much while sitting in front of my computer. I remember I was at school in a library marking out over this match, like fist pumping, and like yeah, like the last six minutes of this match were were tremendous. Were some of the greatest I've seen in all my years watching wrestling. You know, it started out a little slow, and you know. Uh, you know, it, it took a little while to get where it was going, but the last five minutes, last, you know, five, ten minutes of this match were so good with such great counters that, you know, I can't even do it justice. You have to see it for yourself. It, it was a true work of wrestling art in my mind. You know, I'm going to remember it for a long time. I don't know if it's going to be top Dragon USA for a long time. I hope it is, but, you know, just the, the ending of this match was just fantastic. I think everyone should see this match. I'm going to give this four and three fourths as well. You know, that's my match. You know, Danielson, you know, one of the best wrestlers of all time, or, you know, in the past, like, ten years on the Independence versus Shingo, who I believe to be, if not the best in the top two. They just delivered an all-out war and, and something that I'll definitely remember for a long time. That's my video. That sets up this whole debate we're going to have here. Check out his show. It should be up in, in a little while. We're going to debate what's what's the more enjoyable company right now, Ring of Honor Dragon USA. So check that out. That's my Dragon Gate 6. I'll see you guys later. Peace.